Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a weekly reading. It's for July 19th all the way to July 26, 2020 and this is for the sign of Sagittarius. Uh, that being said, this is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everybody so please do take what resonates with you, what fits well with your story and leave the rest aside. If it doesn't feel like it fits with your story, most likely it does not. Um, that being said, if ever you would like to have a private reading, you have your own questions you would like to have answers about, you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my pleasure to uh, send you the information on what kind of readings I can offer you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do support my channel by subscribing it and I'd be very, very um, grateful. And um, now let's talk about this reading here a little bit. So. I need your help, so I'm asking for a favor if you could do it and if you want to do it. Um, this is a oracle reading. It's a weekly but oracle reading. I usually do the tarot. Um, this week I decided I'd switch it up. These cards are beautiful. They have a lot of information. It's packed. And so I'm, I'm using this one for this week. I would like you to write in the comment section if you could, if you prefer the oracle or if you prefer the tarot. And um, in that fashion, I'll be able to... Uh, um, to do a little bit of a, a sum up and see what people like, you know, what the viewers and subscribers like the most, and then I'll be able to adapt my channel accordingly to the results that I receive. So that being said, um, let's begin this reading and see what's going on this week. So I have Strange Valentine with Ghost of the Pumpkin Patch with the Three Fates, uh, Amara the Menehun, and I have Violet Duchess. So we're going to begin over here with our beautiful strange valentine. And this is all about, you know what? Love is strange. Oh, had almost lost the card. I'm sorry. There you go. Okay. So our love is strange. What is that all about for you? That is about, you know what? You have an enormous amount of help right now at this moment. And it's all focusing on one area of your life, your love life. Uh, you're soon going to be receiving a very good news regarding your relationship and you're also going to do a lot of work on healing old wounds from the past relationships, especially the past long term, so the serious relationships. Um, and now is a time... Um, now, some of this news may not seem so great right now at the time, but please give yourself a chance to absorb the lessons because you are moving into a beautiful new phase of your romantic life where, you know, you're going to be free to create a wonderful new life, a new love life for yourself. So it's coming very, very soon. And you may even experience a massive surge in emotional energy and new romantic beginnings. So it's very likely that you'll attract, encounter, or simply bump into someone who's just going to reawaken long lost feelings inside of you. And you know what? They just might not be your type. So, you know, you'll wake up feeling bright, aware, and dynamic, and sometimes feeling giddy with delight. So this is very good news. Love is indeed strange and wonderful. And then we have the ghost of the pumpkin patch. And the ghost of the pumpkin patch is all about counting your blessings. So this is, you know, something that is a blessing is being overlooked. It appears cloaked and seemed almost invisible to you. Now you must stand to your field and that is to say your life, your life being your field. You must look around you and you must see all that has been given to you again and give thanks for it. Now you're forgetting how much you truly have, how much you will have again and again. This card here is all about the harvest, okay? It is now your time to bring in or harvest the joy and love, okay, of what you have so much and um, share your abundance. So this is really something, you know, precious is all about you, but it's become so familiar that you can barely see it anymore. It's such a fixture in your life that familiarity has bred. It's not a contempt and it's a kind of blindness. So this is really, you know, about sharing your love, sharing your abundance, sharing what you do have. And then we have the three fates. This is when, um, what comes around. So what comes around here is all about, um, you know, here it is again, the situation, the person. 
the lesson that you have let learned, you know, and that you have spent a lifetime learning. It seems that you need another cosmic reminder of something that needs to be cleared and mastered. Letting go of this moment is very important. It's a very important lesson for you right now to learn. They're not suggesting to forget the lesson because where the wisdom you know, where's the wisdom in forgetting about the lesson? You must learn the lesson. Now, there, the fairies here are suggesting that you move on and learn and actively replace the experience with completely different versions of the same theme. So no more repeats. This is an opportunity to try something different and see what magic takes place when you vary your approach. This is about you reconnecting with the opportunities that you have. It's staying attached to old patterns are simply going to make them come round and round and round again. Okay? Like a thread being spun upon a wheel. So learn and be released from this part of the pattern that feels, you know, just like an unjust fate that just keeps coming back over and over and over again. That being said, this card is really telling you that, you know, you've been enjoying your own life's reruns. So, you know, it's the same thing over and over and over again. You're going through the memories of feeling sad, bittersweet, nostalgic about the good old days. Um, and you know what? It's fine to muse onto the past, but your memories are precious and they do need to be tended. But it's another thing altogether to be filled with regret and um, wishing you'd done things differently. Life is a constant do-over. You get a fresh chance every second you're alive, so stop beating yourself up. You have an opportunity to heal, to clear, to no longer feel sad about the same thing anymore. You can do things differently. You're not a prisoner of how they have always been done and what you have always been done, okay? Very, very, very important. And then we have Amara, the Menehoon. And Amara, the Menehoon, is an Aloha healing. Now, this is all about, you know, switching things up a little bit, changing things a little bit. Um, you know, this is um, um, Amara has come and it's time to begin to change a little bit your lifestyle. So eat more fruits, uh, drink healthful juices and smoothies, take some dance lessons. This is all about body work, okay? It's about being gentle. It's about being powerful. It's about uh, feeling your own presence, okay? This is about being joyful. It's about getting the joy back into your life, no matter how it is that you use it. Is it with a dance lesson? And it's it's healing. So it's healing from the interior to the outside. So you have to start by eating well, taking care of yourself, and then you take care of anything that's inside. So we take care of the emotions, the psychological, and then you're going to, you know, shine and bright on the exterior also, and you're going to find happiness, Talking about happiness, we have a stickled board and stuck over here with the Violet Duch uh, Duchess. Now, the Violet Duchess here uh, thinks you're quite bored, okay? And she's coming in correlation a little bit with her because she's saying you need to do things. You need to clean up your act, take care of yourself, take care of your body, and start doing some activities, start doing some things. Now, the Violet Duchess uh, speaks. She says, you know what? Uh, in your admirable quest for balance, you can actually become too neutral. You can pretend to be serene, you can act polite, you can not make any waves, never, and not speaking your truth. But now, now that she has arrived, she's showing you exactly how you feel. And it's time to discover, or maybe even rediscover, a raw and honest emotional reaction you had to a person, to an issue, and you need to express it. Okay, it's all very well um, being in, you know, a lover of harmony and not wanting to be a troublemaker, but being a lukewarm person in regards to a situation that really matters is not going to do you any favors at all. Bottling up your true self in turn leads to unhealthy relationships, aches, pains, and even illness. So when this card comes up, go for the passionate and truthful option and rediscover just how strong you can feel and how much fun fun you can have. So this does um, conclude the weekly reading. So my quick little recap here is, you know what? We always expect things with love. 
We expect a certain type of person, certain type of body, color of hair, of eyes, maybe even profession, of age. But you know what? This is all about breaking all of those walls down, all those boundaries. Go out, have fun, and you know what? You're going to be meeting somebody very soon who's going to make you laugh, who's going to bring the joy back into your life. And um, But the only thing is, you know, it's not going to be expected because this person does not fit your profile type. It's not somebody that you usually meet, uh, that you would usually, you know, have a relationship with. That being said, we have the ghost of Pumpkin Patch, who's all about counting your blessings and sharing them. Um, and then we have the Three Fates, who says, you need to stop the reruns. You need to stop the same cycle of everything being the same over and over and over and over and over again. The relationships are just going to continue to be the exact same if you don't stop. But if you do stop, you're going to have a surprise. That being said, you need to take care of your body. You need to switch up and do some different things. Bring some happiness in your life again. This is all about bringing happiness and bringing things in. And we have the Violet Duchess who says, you know what? Stop being stuck. Stop being bored. Say what it is that you have to say. When you say what it is that you have to say, you're going to break the boundaries around you. You're going to speak the truth. You're going to feel better. And, you know, the whole cosmic world will feel better also because if the truth is always said, then we apply whatever is said and, you know, we um we readjust to the new reality but just by doing this you're going to feel so much better so let's stop being bored let's stop being stuck let's accept the love coming in take care of ourselves have gratitude and let's stop with the reruns cycle over and over and over again so i i do wish you a fantastic week many many blessings please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to write me if you prefer oracle or um, tarot and uh, if you would like to have a personal reading romanceful tarot at gmail.com. Have a great day.